Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. So today is Thursday, and the date is the 4th of March, 2021. We're learning a new lesson. We're going to talk about scientists. Have you ever seen a scientist? No. Okay. Have you ever known a scientist? Do you know what a scientist do? Yes, Seth, tell me please. What does a scientist do? Seth, you can open your mic. Okay, I'm gonna let, all right. They do crazy explosions and crazy experiments. <laughs> Okay, it's not really crazy. It is awesome experience and explosions. Very nice. Okay, do you think they've used tools or they just use their hands? Um, they probably use tools. Of course they need tools. Thank you. Excellent, Yosef. Okay, who can tell me what tools they might use? What tools they might use? Let's see, Ahmed. You see, Ahmed. What tools they might use? Temperature. Okay, nice. They can measure the temperature using what? Temperature is... Cup. What? Measuring cup. Measuring what? cup. A measuring cup. Very nice. Very good. A hand lens. A hand lens. Then... I think we have a scientist in our class. Ahmed, is that you? Are you a scientist? Mashallah, you are aware of all the tools that scientists can use. Very nice. Okay, my lovely students, how about if we watch a small video and then we will discuss about them. Is it okay? Show me your thumbs if you're okay. Very well. I'm going to pause the recording so we can um, watch the video and come back again. What are the tools that you saw? First magnifying of all, tools to help them see we saw things that make th that make us look into things and it makes them bigger what makes things bigger huh like this one in the picture hi khalid can you tell me yes okay what makes things look bigger if you want to see or take a look at two small things what are you going to use this okay what do you call this one <laughs> it looks like what Oops. is it a mirror do you call do you, do you call it a mirror it's a mirror it's not a mirror so what is it like a mirror no, it's not like a mirror. Is it glasses? No, these are glasses. Okay. And your glasses, what does it have? Can you touch your glasses? What does it have? It has two something. Hmm. Yes, this, this? one. Yeah, what do you call this one? Glass. No. Glasses. Tell Khalid, what do you call it? Hi, Abdul Aziz, what do you call it? What do you call it? Call what? This tool, the one that makes things bigger. Hi, Ahmed, what do you call it? It's a hand lens. It's a hand lens. So this is a hand lens, Ya Khalid. And your eyeglasses has two lenses. Lenses, what, what you can see through clearly. All right? Very good, very good. So hand lens, why it's a hand lens? Because you can hold it in your hand. That's why they call it a hand lens. Now take a look at this picture. 
The boy is holding the hand lens to see what's inside the box. Maybe a small insect, maybe a small uh, species. He doesn't know what it is. So he need to make it larger to see, to uh, define which creature it is. All right. There is something else. There is something else that also will make things look bigger. What do you call this one? Who knows the tool, this tool? What do you call this tool? Come on. Hi, Salem. do you have any idea? What do you call uh, this I know what it, I know what it is, but I don't know what, what is named. Okay, how does it work? How does it work? Uh, you put something and then you look and it's be bigger and, if you, and you see the germs and, and the stinky things and the thing, wow. uh, everything. Very nice information, Zia Salim. So this tool make you see things you cannot see with your own eye. So germs, yeah. you cannot see germs with your own eye. You need a tool to see things that are very, very tiny and small. Excellent. Again, sorry, Essie Salem, open your mic again. It's named ma a g n e. It's a magnifying tool. <laughs> okay, magnifying yeah. tools. Magnifying means making things bigger. Magnifying. This is the this word magnifying. It's not the yellow. It is highlighted. here. No, it's not highlighted. It is here. The last word. Can you read the last word? Try. Max. <laughs> Nice try. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Excellent. Nice try. It is a microscope. We call this tool a microscope. So a microscope lets you see things bigger, things you cannot see with your own eye. It's not even shown. You cannot maybe touch them. You m make them millions times uh, bigger. Yes, yes, Ismail. Tell me, what do you know about microscope? What can you see with a microscope? No, today we're not going to use the book. So, Ismail, what can you see with a microscope? Uh, a fly. It's a, when it's a fly. Mm -hmm. When it's very small, yes, that's right. But not exactly the fly, something in the fly. Maybe you want to see the skin of the bee or you want to see um, the butterfly wing. You want to see the wings. What does it made from? Is, it, is there any, any uh, uh, hair in the wing or not? So things you cannot see with your own eye, you can put them down here under the microscope and put your eyes over here so so you can see things million times bigger. You see, Khaled, do you have a question? Miss, I am trying to draw a microscope. Trying. Oh, nice. You are trying to draw a microscope. That's very cool. Excellent. Okay, what does a microscope do, Ya Khaled, again? Is, uh, if the... It makes you see things what? bigger excellent bigger is it is it things that you can see with your own eye or something you cannot see with your own eye excellent thank you very much thank you okay there is another tool also can make things looks bigger but it looks more cooler than others let's see Take a look at this box. Look at this box. How can you use this box? Do you have an idea? How can you use this box? Hmm. What would you put inside this box? Yes, yes, Salem. Again, Salem. Um, that thing, also, I don't know, it's me. Uh, Okay. 
Uh, it's like this. You close one eye and then see. Okay. What's yes, it? Salem. You like describe. My, my... You describe for me. Yes, exactly. How how is it working? But I want you to tell me but what can you put inside. Okay, Salem. What can we put inside? Yes. What can you put inside? How? Uh, uh, how uh, what do you? What would you want to see bigger inside? Maybe something living, a living thing. A baby bird. Nice. Not a baby bird. It may be baby bug because it's too small. You can put a baby bug inside a box, a magnifying box, and you can see it bigger. Maybe you want to see a bee. How does it move? but you want to see it very close or a fly or a mosquito. You can put it inside a magnifying box. Watch it, how does it fly or move closely, very, very close. So how many tools we took today that make things look bigger? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Hi, Abdul Ila Haddad, Abdul Ila. Yes, miss. Yes, dear. Can you tell me what are the tools we took today so you can see things look bigger? Three tools. Um, the first picture, this picture, what do you call it? The first picture, this? Yeah, this one, this picture. What box? do you call it? It's a box. It's, what do you call this box? Can you try? Ma, ma? Magnet. Magnifying box. Excellent. What can you put inside? You can trap what? You can trap something inside. Can you trap animals inside the box? Magnet. It's a magnifying box. Yes, yeah, Abdelina. What can you trap inside? What can you put inside? Would you put a bird inside? Thank you, Abdelilah. Thank you for trying. Thank you very much. Who can tell your friend what can you put inside? Let's see, Talal. Talal. What can you put inside a magnifying box, Ya Talal? Can you put a bird or a lion? Or what would you put inside? Hi, Ya Talal. Are you here, Talal? Yes. Okay, my love. Can you tell me what would you put inside a magnifying box? Can you put an animal or an insect? Uh, insect. Excellent. I will put an insect inside. Okay. Like what, Ya Abdulillah? I saw you raising your hand. Yes, Ya Abdulillah. Like what? Thank you, Talal. Miss, you was calling me. Yes, I was calling you to tell me you can put an insect in inside the magnifying box. Like what? Um, insect. Yes, give me an example of an insect you can put inside. Um, I, I give you what the insect we put inside the box. Yes, tell me an example oh. of an insect. Caterpillar. Nice, yes, that's right. You can put a caterpillar inside and you can uh, explore what about the caterpillar. How many, uh, maybe, um, how many legs does it have? How does it move? How does it go? Uh, how does it uh, flip maybe? What are the colors of it? Very nice, yeah, Abdul Ilah. Very nice, excellent, excellent. So today we learned about the things that make uh, other things bigger and we said it's a hand lens a microscope and a magnifying box okay when you need to know the size of something you need to know the size of something 
What are you going to use? You need to use numbers. We have tools that we use numbers in them. What are the tools that you use numbers in them? For example, this picture. This picture is about what, Ya Amir? What do you see? Measure. Measuring what? What do you call it? Measuring? Measure uses number. Okay, measuring using numbers. And this picture shows what? You can, uh, there is no name of it. I did not write the name of it over here. Hmm. Have you ever seen such a thing in your house? Did you, have you ever used yeah, it? have it. Okay, can you tell me, Yasef, what do I call it? What is the name of it? Um. This is what I know it is. It is a measuring, a measuring. something. Um. A measuring ruler, a measuring tape, measuring straight, huh? Measuring straight tape. It's a measuring straight a tape. Excellent. Thank you, Sarud. I'm so happy to see you. How are you? Hello, Saud. Can you unmute your mic? Good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am so happy to see you today. Do you know that? Yeah. All right. How are you, Miss? I am fine. Thank you. Fine. Thank you. Okay. Talal, I was asking you a question, but you weren't there. It's okay. I'm going to ask you another one in a minute. Okay, Talal? Now, Saud, can you tell me what other uh, tool you can use to measure things if you are going to use numbers? I'm going to use a measuring tape. Okay? Measuring tape can... Excellent measuring cup. Wonderful, yes, Saud. Excellent. It is a measuring cup also. You, what, do, what can you put inside the measuring cup? Water. Excellent. Wow. I'm so happy, yes, Saud. Excellent. So measuring cup, you can put water inside a measuring cup. Very good. This is a measuring cup. Look at the measuring cup. Very good. Thank you very much, Yes, Saud. Yes, Ismail. Yes, yes, Ismail. What else? I draw a microscope. Wow, you draw a microscope. I have artists in my class. <laughs> very nice. It looks nice. Okay, Ismail. Now, measuring cup using numbers. Measuring tape using numbers. What are other tools can use numbers too? You will measure and do you will use a number, huh? Um, nine. Think about a tool you would use. I'm gonna show you a picture and tell me, does it use numbers or not? What is this picture? This is what? It is, it is number. It will give you number. Okay, what do you call this tool? Other pan. Huh? It's not. Okay, it's not other pan. It is a pan balance. So what do we call it? This pan. is a pan balance. Excellent. It is a pan balance. Very good. What about... Just a minute. Oh, okay. Look at this picture. Huh. This picture measures what? This picture measures what? Who can tell me? Come on. Let's see Talal. Talal Iyad. I'm going to open for you the mic, please. Are you here? Talal Iyad. Yes. Okay, Talal Iyad. Look at this picture. This picture measures what? Hmm? 
time excellent ya talal it measures time and you use the clock or uh, a stopwatch or even a hand watch and even uh, uh, a phone watch to measure the time thank you very much ya talal excellent and also we use number in that what about if you want to know how something cold or warm it is? What are you going to use, Ya Saud? Yes, miss. If I want to know how something cold or warm it is, what I'm gonna use? Temperature. Okay, you will measure the temperature. The temperature, you measure temperature using what? A ruler, a watch, a pan balance, a measuring cup, huh? Or a thermometer. Excellent, bravo, bravo, bravo. You are going to use a thermometer. Excellent, excellent. Okay, boys, who can tell me how many tools we learned today? Or let's say not how many tools. What did you learn today? How can you use some tools? Two different ways of using tools. What are they, Amir? You learned how to make things what? Smaller or bigger? Bigger. Excellent. We learned how we can use thing, uh, how we can make things look bigger. And how is that? Hmm. You are going to use what? Let's see who's here. First of all, let me write it for you. Tools make things look bigger what are they hmm. give me names of tools that make things bigger number one hmm. high asylum give me a name of a tool that make things bigger bigger yes um, a harmonica no it's a hand Monica. No, harmonica is something makes sound. Uh, huh? Hand C. Hand lens. Excellent. It's a hand lens. Okay. What yeah. else? Hand lens. Something you can put inside uh, uh, an insect, huh? Kawani Khalid, what else? A hand lens. Give me another tool that make things look bigger. Glasses. <laughs> Not glasses, it's a hand lens. Lenses, hand lens. What about micro something? Micro. Microscope. So microscope look make things look bigger. What about you have a box? It may it, you can trap insect inside it. What do we call this box? Who can tell me? What do I call this box? Hi, Amit. Come on. Magnifying. Magnifying box. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So a magnifying box. Something else we learned today, which is measuring tools use numbers. Measuring tools use numbers huh what are they measuring tools that they use numbers 
you can tell me you can tell me hi abdulillah when i want to know how cold or something or warm the temperature how can you measure the temperature you will use a hi abdulillah Thermal. Abdullah, I cannot hear you. Excellent, a thermometer. Number two, hmm. who can tell me? You use numbers, you measure and use numbers. Yes, yes, Ismail. Yes, miss. What else I'm going to use to measure? And also, it will use numbers. Um. Where can you put liquid in a measuring what? A cup. Excellent. Excellent. Measuring cup. What about a measuring tape? Hmm. Also measuring tape. Finally, if you want to know the mass or of something or how how much uh, how much something weight, what would you use? A pan. Hi, Ahmed. How something weight, how much something weight? It is a pan. Pan. Ba. Balance. Excellent, yeah, Ahmed, excellent. All right, boys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great, great, great weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye, boys.